Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel. This channel we talk about narcissists, bullies, ostracism, and everything under the sun. And we, we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. Um, all right, so this is going to be about our ostracism and some things that I kind of have been working on, you know. Um, all right, so uh, narcissists use this technique. You know, they ostracize if you are, like, way less powerful than, than they are socially. And then you just have people who are ostracizers, you know, they just, that's how they are, you know, they, that's their, one of their strategies to get, gain power in their environment. All right, so now, it, one thing is, that's hard to do is identify the ostracizer, you know, it's, we, we all are pretty good at identifying narcissists, but ostracizer is a little bit different. You know, they can both be a narcissist and an ostracizer or just an ostracizer. But, uh, all right, so usually that person is going to be the type of person that tries to force themselves into the group. You'll notice that they go above and beyond. You know, they're always talking. They talk nonstop, right? And then if there's a, a situation where, let's say, everybody's sitting at the, the in crowd table and there'll be that person who pulls up a chair even when, you know, I've seen situations where like half the group can't sit there. And so you have maybe not not half the group, some of the members from that in crowd group sitting at another table right next to that main, the popular table. Right. So you have two of them there and then the ostracizer walks in and pulls up an extra chair at the main big table. You know that everybody there's already too many people there. You know, just stuff like that. If you notice people going above and beyond, you know, trying too hard to fit in and trying too hard to get into the group, then they're probably an ostracizer themselves, especially if they have something wrong with them. You know, if they're overweight or if, uh, let's say if the, the group is like full of Asian people and most of the Asian people are Chinese and then you have one of them who's Filipino, not that this, that's a de defect, but they have, they're a little bit, they're separated a little bit. They're a little bit different, you know, so that person is going to try harder and they, they'll ostracize other people, you know, just once they're, they're happy that they're, they're finally in, you know, they look around and they're trying to entertain the group, you know, like they want to add value by bringing other people down, you know, to make other people feel good, you know, I don't know, but uh, that's what they do. And so if you see a person like this and they also stare at you a lot, then you, you might be like, you'll notice that there's certain people that just stare and stare and stare. And the first chance they get, they're going to say something to, to ostracize you. And how they do it, they basically, to ostracize somebody, to shun somebody, it's basically done by just having more social power and then openly doing like body language that s suggests social rejection, you know, rolling your eyes or looking really like if that person walks by, you know, stop everything you're doing and get quiet and then stare at them, or, you know what I'm saying? And then look at the other members of the group, you know, that's done on purpose. Usually um, it's most people don't just naturally all start ostracizing some one person it's like it's a it's a effort of maybe one or two people that spreads you know so up until that point even if you're not the type of person who normally gets involved with everybody else and you've been ostracized over and over again the thing is, is that most of those people would still talk to you it's not until those people that the ostracizer goes in and shuns you that that it actually starts. So that's something that you need to internalize and remember because it's easy to take these uh, these lessons and take those scars from being ostracized with you everywhere you go just because you feel like you're that type of person. I'm, I'm a loner now. You know, I'm the type of person who doesn't fit in. But if you know that it, it didn't just happen, it's, it's not just that you didn't fit in. It was somebody who did this to you and you you were fitting in. You were fitting in until they did it to you, you know. So you're not actually having a problem fitting in, at least to the degree that you probably think you do. Um, but 
With that being said, a lot of times the person who gets targeted has something that's different about them. You know, it could just be um, you could ha- be a different race. You could be overweight. Um, you could be f- disfigured somehow. But uh, that's what normally gets you you picked out of the crowd because some of the people in the group, like if you don't, if you're not like this really good looking person who fits the mold of the group, then everybody doesn't just come and meet you, you know, and greet you and try to get to know you. Um, people automatically know that you have less social power. But uh, so with that being said, that doesn't mean that just because people are more attracted to other members of the group that you're ostracized right there, you know, like you can still break through at that point. Um, it's like I said, it's until they do the shunning action, the, the shunning body language, that's when it's official. So uh, just remember that. Now, the next thing is, all right, so how do you deal with this? Uh, there's some strategies to do to do that you can do. Um, for one, it's like uh, if the person who's an ostracizer, right, when they finally, when they get the floor, you know, that's, don't walk past them, you know, don't uh, do things that'll cause them to have, to put the attention onto you, you know. Now, of course, you can't just completely, oh, I'm not going to walk past somebody, so you have to use common sense with that. But uh, even if you do walk past them, right, and they have the floor, try to pick your moments like if they just said some really funny thing and everybody's laughing and all the attention's on them that's not the best time to walk past because now they're they're gonna put all the everybody's already looking at them then they go and they put the attention onto you you know get quiet and start staring at you weird just to further the moment to make themselves seem more interesting or like they have more to offer i guess but uh it won't kill you to wait a split second for the for that moment to pass before you walk past them, before you walk by, you know. And this isn't a strategy that you continue doing all like throughout your employment there or at your school or stuff like that. It's a strategy that you use temporarily to kind of slow down the process of being ostracized. Um they can still do it at any point. This isn't like the solution, but you tr- you try to slow it down a little bit so you have time to meet other people in the group so that they can't do this. And uh, the way to do to you start trying to turn people onto your side. Um, f- so for first of all, you slow down the process. You know, you don't go and try to be in everybody's face. You don't want to be that person who's trying to make friends with everybody. So that they can just single you out and reject you and in front of everyone. But you also don't want to be the person who's completely like giving up on it and don't talk to anybody. But uh, so what you do is uh, I, I would suggest using the law of reciprocity and start giving stuff away in that situation. And I've seen people do it. Um, I've seen this uh, this little Mexican girl. Who she looks kind of weird, and I never seen like Mexican people kind of uh, ostracize each other. But she was on the verge of being ostracized, right? But she kept giving like these tortillas away during our lunch break, and uh, they eventually let her in. You know, it's little stuff like that. I say that doesn't mean everybody always says, "Well, you're not buying friendship." I don't want to buy friends. You're not buying any friendship. You're just using the law of reciprocity. You know, you give little things away, a compliment here and there, and just kind of get people on your side so it's not so easy to uh, just k- get you rejected and shunned in one look. One, you know what I mean? Now, it just also depends on uh, how powerful the person is in the group. Like, if they're really, they're the boss and everybody likes this boss, and then you they shun you, you know, they give you the shunning body language. Even if you give, you can give, have given people hundreds of dollars, like you're still going to get 
shunned, you know. But if it's somebody who's more on your level, then uh, it's not going to work. All right, so I covered all the basics, but I didn't cover the last part, which is uh, you don't have to be in a battle mode against the, the ostracizer. Now, if this if it's a narcissist, a psychopath, they're usually nothing that you can do to kind of get them on your side and get them not to, to bother you. But if it's an ostracizer and they're just they're a normal person per se, but they they use ostracism. Um, usually, if you catch them before they start the process, I wouldn't say usually. I think because I haven't done this before. Normally, I'm the type of person I try to take the person on, um, but uh, try to befriend that person. You know, if you see that they're doing little stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like like I said before, and they fit all the, the things I, I've said before about how to identify an ostracizer before they start ostracizing you. Um, if they fit all of that, try to aim your, your efforts of reciprocity towards them. You know, bring in a, a, you know, buy coffee and bring it in with you, you know what I'm saying? And then say you have an extra coffee or something like that and just don't do it in front of everybody you know what i'm saying do it when it's one-on-one -on -one and nobody really notices you know give them a coffee or something like that i'm talking about like one of the ones that you get from like the gas station that's like capped you know what i'm saying so they know that it's good and clean and everything but uh and that that might convince them not to to do it to you you know um so that's another that's another strategy that you can use but uh, even if that doesn't work, you know, you still want to work the whole group so that even if they decide to, that it's less effective, you know. But uh, I mean, that is every that's pretty much what I would say that you should do. You should try um, quick. Some other quick things is don't walk around really slow. Um, uh, normally, a lot of people that get pointed out is it's just by you walking or moving slower than everybody else or. You move faster than everybody else. You're zipping through the, like, move past them in a way that doesn't, you know, cause them to pay attention to you. Like, because a lot of times you get you move slow because you, you start thinking about stuff, you know what I mean? Like, you're thinking about the fact that, that you're about to get ostracized or what people are thinking about you. And now you're moving a little bit slower and then people notice you and then, you know what I'm saying? So, just moving in a normal way you know, with that won't cause attention to yourself also helps, you know, and if you, if you have to walk past that group, move by kind of quickly, you know, uh, don't run past them, but don't linger there, you know, and eventually, you know what I'm saying? You'll slow things down. You'll be able to, to break through the ostracism, um, pattern in your life. If this keeps happening to you and that's all I got though. Peace. So basically you're trying to catch the person before they start the shunning process. And the best way to do that is just to kind of uh, just peep game beforehand. You know, you, if you see that person who's overdoing it, who solidifies their position, they start looking around for a target, you know that they, that's them. And uh, possibly you can try to befriend them or uh, stay out of their way so that they don't they're not able to shun you. And uh, that's basically the, the gist of the video. That's all I got. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Peace.